Capricorn, it's Tina from Twinkle Star Tarot, and we are here to do your December 2020 general and or love forecast. We shall see what the cards have to say. A big happy birthday, early birthday to each and every one of you. I hope that you guys are doing fantastic, and I hope you're having a good holiday season. All right, so before we get started, Capricorn, um, now until December 2nd, I'm running a Black Friday sale in my Etsy shop. If you haven't visited, please go check it out. The link will be down below. I sell metaphysical products. My main product is called Conjure Oils, and these are to help you do uh, manifest basically all kinds of different things. I have about 50 different kinds of Conjure Oils in the shop. We've got perfumes. Um, we've got all sorts of metaphysical supplies. Anything that you want is gonna be there, and if it's not, send me a message because I can likely put it together for you. Um, I also offer readings and spells there too and every single thing in the shop including readings and spells is 20% off until December 2nd. This is our last sale of the year so if you are interested in that kind of stuff go check it out now. All right guys let's jump into your reading. All right spirit guides universe guardian angels and ancestors this reading is for the zodiac sign of Capricorn sun moon and rising. Please allow me to be a clear channel for their messages. Thank you. All right I'm a Capricorn moon so I am myself curious to see what is going on. It's been it's been something, hasn't it, Capricorn? <laughs> I'm sure you guys are, are feeling my pain over here. It's been something. I don't know. Last few weeks have been interesting. Interesting, to say the least. All right. Let's see what we got. Okay, so splitting the deck, we have the Lovers reversed and we have the Ace of Swords reversed. Some of you could have broken up with someone that you were involved with on a romantic level because they were lying or they were withholding the truth from you. I did. <laughs> So um, some of you might be in the same position. Some of you may be dealing with a Gemini. Okay, that's the lover's card. Um, yeah, some of you and, and some of you may be being dishonest to your romantic partner as well. Um, so, you know, it's going to be different for everybody. It's going to apply differently to everybody. All right. If, if that's not, if that doesn't apply to you, if you're completely single and not you know, out there looking for love, then those two cards together would mean that, um, cause the lovers used to be called the choice or the decision back, back in the day when the car, the deck was originally created. So it would mean that you're, you're needing to make some sort of major choice or decision. Um, but the ace of swords reverse means I don't have enough information to make that decision. Like I'm looking for more information cause I don't feel like I have enough of it yet. I don't feel like I have the truth. All right, let's see three cards for Capricorn's recent past, please. The nine of swords. Okay. The Hermit Reverse, some of you are dealing with a Virgo. Justice Reverse, some of you are dealing with a Libra. Okay. Hmm, see, told you. It's been something, right? All right, present energy for Capricorn, please. The Fool Reversed. The Devil, that's you or us, Capricorn. That's our card. And then the Seven of Pentacles, okay. Future, Ten of Cups, that's great. Judgment Reversed and the chariot. Some of you are traveling or moving um, or dealing with a cancer. All right, bottom of the deck is the queen of swords. She is a Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, but she is also the queen of communication and she tells the damn truth, okay? She, she will also take that sword and she will elegantly chop anybody out of her life that is holding her back or that is in her way or that is lying to her. She doesn't tolerate any sort of lying either. Um, all right, so that's what she means. So, Let's get into it. I'm going to clarify too. Um, nine of swords, stress, right? Sleepless nights, anxiety, that feeling in the pit of your stomach when you know something's wrong, but you can't put your finger on it or you can put your finger on it and it's bad. Um, you know, that's what that is. I'm going to clarify that, please, for Capricorn, nine of swords. Um, the page of swords reversed. Again, somebody's not being honest with you. Um, somebody's not telling you the truth. That, that could be number one. Number two option is going to be that um, you saw something in, in some like light online stalking that you didn't like, that, that caused you a lot of stress and anxiety. Um, the page of swords reverse is one of two things. It's someone withholding information, withholding the truth, or um, withholding communication too. So it could be that you're blocked or that you've blocked someone. Um, or they are you know that they're being dishonest, you know that they're lying and that's causing that feeling or um, somebody is like, like I said, it's, it's, it's not stalking in the sense of like criminal stalking, it's more, you know, searching the internet, searching through social media, maybe something like that, you know, it's a lighter version of just trying to figure out information. And again, you could be doing that 
to someone else or someone could be doing that to you. And if that's the case, it's like, I found something that I didn't want to see. I hate this. You know what I mean? Like, damn it. They didn't tell me that. They didn't tell me they had a girlfriend, you know, something like that. All right. The hermit reverse. Now, some of you are dealing with a Virgo. And if you're dealing with a Virgo, unfortunately, they're reversed. And this is in the recent past, but, um, you know, they're a little bit not themselves or a lot of it not themselves. Um, also could be that something that was previously hidden has come to light, has been revealed. That's what the hermit reverse means to me. So let's see, the hanged man reverse. Whatever it was that came out and that was revealed or is being revealed um, has allowed you or the other person to get unstuck. So maybe you were stuck trying to make a decision before trying to figure out what to do. The information that is coming or that has come to you will free you basically. It's going to allow you to know, okay, now I have all, the, all of the answers that I need in order to make a rational decision about this. Justice reversed. Again, that's that Libra energy. And when I say the same thing about that as I did the Virgo, if it's a Libra, it's, you know, they're, they're a little twisted. They're upside down, okay? Um, it could also be court or legal matters. Um, perhaps if that you were dealing with, it also could be um, something that was unfair, imbalanced, or unjust. So apply it to your situation. Okay. The Ace of Pentacles. All right. Um, you, some of you maybe have gotten like a judgment against you for some sort of financial purpose, right? Like maybe somebody had a lawsuit against you or child support or something like that. Um, and that you're now paying out or vice versa. You could have been, you could have had this on, in another place. Um, also I think Capricorn, because the Ace of Pentacles is your ace because you're an earth sign and that's an earth energy. Um, for some of you, you're deeply committed to someone or something. It could be a job or a friendship too, but it feels like you're deeply committed to someone who perhaps is not quite as deeply committed to you as you would like. Um, and I think they think the main problem here is going to be that they're not telling you everything. They're not opening up to you. They're not being honest with you or they're blatantly flat out lying to you and you know it, you know, and that's the problem. Um, you're, you're invested in this, you know, Ace of Pentacles means I offer you my ace, my, your, you know, this is everything I have right here in the palm of my hand and I'm giving it to you. And like I said, it's you, you know, doing this, but there's something about this that's imbalanced. I want you to be careful Capricorn with money. Okay. Just be careful, man. Like be careful not to give, don't, don't be paying everybody's bills because you think like, oh, they, you know, I make more money than them. So I'm going to help them out because what's going to end up happening is these people get very, uh, very quickly acclimated to that type of behavior. And then next thing you know, you know, they're stealing from you or they're expecting you to pay everything, even though they can pay it themselves or something like that. They're expecting that from you. Okay. So please be careful with your generosity this month. All right. Full reverse. That could be an Aries. Um, but the full reverse usually means I'm not willing to take a risk. I'm not willing to take a leap of faith. I picked up one of those cards from the bottom, didn't I? Holy sheet. And I don't remember which one it was. We're going to have to redraw it. There's got to be a reason for that. <laughs> Crazy. The crossroads. Yeah, you're not going to do anything until you figure out what exactly is going on. It looks like the two of swords means I'm at a crossroads. I don't know what I'm what I'm going to do yet. Um, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. And the reason I'm saying that is because they had some similar cards come out. Um, so if you are, then definitely watch their reading. Okay, clarifying the devil in the middle of the spread. The devil is Capricorn energy. Um, it could also be that you feel stuck to someone. You feel attached to someone. You can see that these two are chained, you know, uh, together. So maybe feeling like I can't break free from a situation or that I'm stuck in something. Also, though... Um, if you guys didn't know, this card is the same card as the lovers. It's just the darker side of things. I, I look at that. I look at the lovers as more of the, the, um, mental and emotional side of a relationship. And I look at that as more of the physical side of the relationship. So, um, yeah, you could have a very deep, deep, deep physical attachment or connection to someone. Um, and usually they're a soulmate when, it, when the devil comes up too. Four of Cups. Why? Someone could be offering you King of Wands. Okay. So I almost feel like Aries Leo Sagittarius. I almost feel like somebody might be offering you um, sex, you know, and you're 
either re uh, rejecting it, you know, maybe because you have someone else already or you're just not interested in having an, a only physical relationship. You want more. Um, so that's probably what's happening here. All right, seven of cups. Somebody, and if it's not having to do with love or relationships, this would be somebody's making you an offer, but you know that it's not, it's not living up to your integrity or your ethics because the devil does mean like toxic situations, toxic, toxic energy. So it could be like, you know, there's a really good offer on the table. Maybe there's a lot of money at stake here, but you're not willing to compromise your own morals to, you know, to do what they're asking you to do. Seven of Cups, confusion and choices that need to be made. Ten of Swords reversed. Yeah, you, before you end the situation completely, you're going to need some more information, and that's what you're trying to figure out. You're, you've got a big decision to make. It looks like Capricorn here. All right, let me, let me put the near future card back, but whichever one comes out now. I'm sorry, you guys. That's actually never happened to me before, but I'm not going to stop the whole reading because of it. So I feel like there's no coincidences, right? Like everything happens for a reason. Okay, so the Knight of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, it is also very fast moving energy. He's usually like, he moves without thinking. He just moves, right? And he's, things start picking up. So life is gonna start going and fast forward here in the near future. Let me clarify it and see what that means. Uh, the King of Pentacles reversed. Again, that could be you, a Virgo, a Taurus, or another Capricorn. Um, this could also be that you're leaving a toxic work environment because this can be your boss or a toxic commitment like a like a marriage or other committed relationship because their commitment is not there or the security of that job or that relationship is not there anymore. Judgment reverse. Somebody has misjudged a situation or is misjudging a situation. King of Cups reverse. Okay, so you could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This could also be like a masculine figure who thinks they know what's going on and they actually don't. This could be you or this can be somebody that you're dealing with. Somebody, I, I feel like somebody is misjudging you. Like perhaps you need to get out of this situation. You need to end something that you know is toxic, right? Whether it be your job, your relationship, a friendship, whatever. You need to end it and you know it's not good for you but somebody is taking that the complete wrong way. They think that you're doing it for selfish reasons when you're actually not, you're doing it because it's the best thing for everybody in the scenario um, or something to that effect. The chariot, again, that cancer energy, um, cancer zodiac sign, it could also be travel. Um, it can be movement, it can be a car, a new car for some of you. Let me see. Oh, 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 Capricorn. Red alert, eight of cups reversed. Okay, that's the past. <laughs> Returning, holy shit. Okay, some of you are going back to your past, like to an ex or something from your past, someone from your past, could be a cancer, could be a person that lives at a distance from you. Because some of you guys, it's just going back home for the holidays, right? That's what it'll be, because the eight of cups would be your home where you grew up. Um, but reverse means I'm going back. So that's what's going to be. For some of you, though, it's going to be a lot more intense than that. It's going to be that I'm going back to an old relationship. Let me see. I'm going to clarify it. Holy shit. Or the old relationship is coming back to you, but do you want that? Let's see. Four of Wands reversed. So, you know, something you, you could have, mm, you could have had a like you have lived with this person, you could have been deeply involved with them. It could be that you or the other person were married or else committed, you know, in some other way, and now you're not. One of you is not, but maybe one of you still is. I don't know, guys. It's a lot of different scenarios there. Eek. All right, I'm gonna pull a moonology card for you um, to crown out your month, and this is for all of December from now until the end of the year. Your advice and guidance. All right. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising from now until the end of the year, please. Capricorn, Sun, Moon, and Rising from now until the end of the year. Okay, so the card is the Full Moon in Leo card. I always tell people, especially when I'm doing personal readings, um, Google this date, like Full Moon in Leo 2020, or now we would probably Google 2021, um, and mark it on your calendar because that date may be significant. So I'll tell you guys that too, okay? It says, don't let pride get in your way. And I'm gonna go ahead and read the book definition here because they just do a much better job than I can of um, verbalizing what this is. All right, have you been letting your pride become an obstacle? Is the question you're asking based on your ego or is it from your heart? Leo energy is all about the heart. Think of the big hearted king of the jungle, the lion. 
Its energy is magnificent, but when it's combined with the rush of the full moon, it can become over the top. This card may have come to you because you need to end a deadlock that has developed. More love and thoughts for the greater good are the solution to this dilemma. If you've not been doing as you would have been done by lately, this is the time to find a balance between your own needs and the needs of the people around you. This will help all of your relationships. Attuned to the moon is be magnificent without being plain too much. And then additional meanings are self-esteem is good, vanity is not. Everyone is equally important. Creative urges should be followed, work some magic, and a friendship may be ending now. Told ya. All right, guys, that's what I've got for you for the month of December. If you are interested in a personal reading, I am taking bookings through my Etsy shop. The link will be down below. Everything, including readings and spells, are 20% off right now. This will be my last sale of the year. It's going to be the last sale for, for quite a while. So if you're interested in any of that, please do go check that out. Um, and that is it, my friends. I love you all. I wish you a wonderful holiday season and a happy new year, and I'll be talking to you soon. Bye. Oh, one more thing. If you don't follow me on Instagram, I'm going to be doing giveaways in December. So if you're interested in giveaways, um, I will be doing them. I'm at the lovers conjure and at twinkle star Tarot on Instagram. Both will be down below as well. All right. Bye guys. Have a great day.